versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Most exciting man in boxing. Man in boxing, led the flare cops. Shout out to good fella sports TV. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfella Sports TV. Bomb squad, baby. Hey Carrera, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo que no animo. Shout out to Goodfella TV. Tiger Johnson, Picking Ohio, 140. And you watching Goodfella TV. We in here. We in here. Shout out to Uncommon Sense in here early. Don't forget, thumbs up the video. <clears throat> Whatever platform you end up listening on, thumbs up, heart it, share it. We did a couple vertical live streams. My hair is space hella shiny right now. But we did a couple vertical live streams. I ain't feel like getting out the bed yesterday. So I hope you caught, you know, people's asking, you gonna do a vertical live stream? I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do so on YouTube. If you don't follow us on YouTube, good fella TV. Um, so I did some vertical live streams and shit last night after both fights. Um, so check those out. Uh shout out to everybody listening on Kick, Twitch, uh, X, Facebook. I figured it on Instagram in a minute on YouTube at Good Fella TV. Hit the link tree, you can find me everywhere. This episode will be up on the podcast in the morning. Um, it'll be on uh, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Spotify, and a bunch of others, man. So let's uh, let's get this thing started. All right, all right, all right. So we all seen what happened yesterday. Um, uh, Sebastian Fondora. Um, you know, upset to Zoo, Isaac Cruz, Ice Rowley, and Earl Stan steals W.O. shot from Terrence Crawford. So we just talk about the fights first, and then a chunk of the, the stream will be on, uh, it'll be about, uh, yeah, it'll be about the title shots. I mean, it'll be about Earl and Terrence, I guess. That's what y'all really want to hear. So, uh, Isaac Cruz beat the living, ro- really living hell out of Rowley. Um, you know, Rowley didn't figure out, and the people forgot he left Coach Billet for Ishmael Silas. What Rowley didn't figure out, you know, you know, is that Cruz can Cruz can take a shot. <laughs> Cruz can take a shot. So Rowley never made the adjustments. And you know, a lot of these guys that's power punchers, they can't take it on the chin neither. You know what I'm saying? They can't take it on the chin. No, uh, hold on, hold on, I forgot I got the no diddy like that's you know, so they can't really take take, you know, um, They really can't take that power for real. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's the difference. Um, and what Rowley didn't figure out was that um, okay, when you when you can't hurt somebody with your power, then you gotta start throwing, you know, doubling up on your shots. You know, he hit him with a couple of clean uppercuts that he didn't even see coming for real. And Esau Cruz ate them uppercuts. So either Rowley can't punch. Eastside Cruz just got a really, really good chin, all right? And um, so, you know, Rowley never made the adjustments. So even when you're talking about, well, you know, Rowley should have doubled up his shots or tripled up his shots. Also, a way you can hurt guys, especially when you don't have the power, you got to set you gotta set it up. You got to counter. You got to counter punch. So, you know, um, you know, you got to hit him when you don't see coming, use angles, you know, step forward, you know, set traps. And Rowley was looking just to land one shot at a time, and Cruz couldn't take one shot at a time, you know? No diddy, like, that's... You know, so that that, be, that became an issue because Rowley didn't have an answer. And then Cruz had Rowley on his heels, so where Rowley really couldn't throw, really a uh, step into a shot at times because he was moving backwards, you know what I'm saying? And another thing, and I kind of mentioned this last night about Isaac Cruz as well, is that Isaac Cruz made a critical adjustment last night. He came out wild. A little bit, especially when he thought he's gonna knock out Rowley in the first round. He came out really, really wild. And then in the second round, he was more patient. He started taking his time. He started looking to counter Rowley. So Isaac Cruz showed some growth as far as a, a, a come forward, reckless, destructive fighter. He showed a lot of refined skills. And I think he had respect for Rowley power. Even after Rowley hit him, it didn't appear that Rowley was gonna hurt him. 
he had respect for Roly Power, so he started to try to counter what it, uh, Esau, what Roly was doing. Notice he didn't really, you know, he didn't really start to attack, uh, attack Roly until about a minute left in the round. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, Roly will be, I think Roly run the majority of the round, the beginning of the rounds. And then Esau Cruz would just come on about a minute left and just blitz Roly ass and then steal the round for Roly. Roly wasn't doing bad in that fight. Roly wasn't doing bad in that fight at all. It's just that when Esau Cruz decided to step step the pace up, you know, uh, he stole the rounds from Roly. This is exactly what happened. I mean, you got to watch that fight again. Watch it. Really watch what he did. Roly was winning about if we was going off, you know, just how much how how many minutes was running around. Roly won more minutes in the round than Esau Cruz. You know what I'm saying? It's just that when Esau Cruz had a game plan, he paced himself. And um, and then when he wanted to step it up, he stepped it up. He he threw a lot of body work. He even threw a couple jabs tonight uh, or last night. And you know, uh, you know, when people get caught up in Roly trash talk, but hey, you got to sell the fight. You know, that's what people got to understand. You know, if you don't open your mouth, pause, nigga. You know, the fight don't get sold. So some of y'all got to learn to try, you know, separate the trash talk. Now, if the trash talk get a little bit too personal, you know what I'm saying? They can talk about niggas' mamas and niggas' kids and all that type shit. Then, yeah, if it crossed the line, you know, if it crossed the line, whatever you deem to cross the line, especially in this sensitive-ass era, you know, that's what you deem that it crossed the line. So be it. But I think kids, you know, personal, talk about niggas' sexuality and all that shit, I think that, 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 that crosses the line. Talk about niggas' mamas and, you know what I'm saying? Grab a niggas' mom, uh, wives' ass like uh, my court, my yorga did, uh, Shane Mosley. Make sure I thumbs up the video. Y'all come in here. I think that crossed the line. I think he was just selling it. I, I mean, I want to buy one of them pit bull chains, them, them uh, chihuahua chains, man. I want to buy one of them things, man. You know? So, you know, Eastside Cruz, you know, and, and like I said before, they talked about when Roley fought. I mean, when uh, Devin fought, uh, Devin Haney fought, uh, he fought uh, Lomachenko, how everybody in Vegas is rooting for Lomachenko. You know, he, you know, that's kind of his second home. Roley from Las Vegas, he the second Las Vegas fighter to win a world championship. And it was all rooting for, you know, uh, Eastside Cruz. So, you know, keep that same energy, how you saying everybody's rooting against Devin Haney. I mean, Mayweather fought Ricky Hatton in the whole motherfucking arena was, was going for fucking Ricky Hatton. Don't forget that. Come on. Smart. You know what I'm saying? My health is important. My health is more important than money. They can take all the money. My health is more important. I, I, I'm scared. I'm a coward. Well, guess what? I'm a rich, scared and coward. I'm a rich coward. You know, so at the end of the day, bro, like, uh, you know, I keep saying this. Black Americans don't get no love. I understand. That's Mexico. They stole that shit from Mexico. All that Vegas, Nevada, New Mexico, uh, parts of California. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Texas, you know, the Louisiana purchase and all that bullshit and whatever. You know, I stole that shit from them. You know what I'm saying? But you know, that you know, that that ain't my fight. You know, sorry. She you know, so at the end of the day, I just feel that, you know, uh black Americans need some more support, bro. Come on, man. I think niggas should just fight in Atlanta and fight at the crib and fight in, at the Barclays Centers. And fight in D.C. where you're going to get black support. And I think that's what niggas need to start doing, bro. You know, I really do. I think brothers really need to start fighting and where they're going to get black support and black love at. Stop, stop going to uh, validate Mexi Mexican, uh, Mexican, go try to find Mexican validation because it's kind of seen as they sport, even though I think it originated over there in, uh, they say, in Europe or in Britain. Um, watch, watch It Man for more about that shit. I forget what number it was. You know, but... Yeah, we need to fight where, where black people are gonna support support black people, you know, uh, you know, uh Detroit, Cincinnati, you know what I'm saying, Cleveland, Philadelphia, the Barclay Centers in Brooklyn, down there in DC and Atlanta. That's why I think niggas, that's the only place brothers should be fighting at, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stop looking for Mexican validation and shit. We need to look for black validation if we're gonna start anywhere. And I think brothers should get out there and support those fights. But yeah, you know, Roly Black. I heard somebody say the other day, Roly identifies black. His dad's Cuban, his mama black. Roly said he black. So at the end of the day, at least Roly ain't one of these motherfuckers from Ghana or he from, you know, uh, 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 Jamaica 
oh, you know, I'm not I'm Dominican. I'm not black. I'm Dominican. At least he ain't one of them niggas, dude. At least, at least he claim his black side. And, you know, at the end of the day, dog, you know, we can't have it both ways. You know, knock people that don't want to be black and then knock people who do want to be black. Come on, man. We got to, you know, we got to have it both ways, y'all. Get your stupid ass over nothing. Hey, come on, man. We supposed to be brothers. You know, so that's how that's how I got to go. But, hey, man, you know, people get mad. Rookie talk too much shit and all that. I mean, you got to sell the fight, bro. If he don't talk shit and sell the fight, Isak Cruz don't speak. Come on, man. Floyd Mayweather sucking niggas into the fights all the time by talking shit and then going in there throwing three punches around. Good job, Al Henry. Chris reviews you called it Fondor for the upset. I already knew that. Salute. That, that was an easy call. That was easy than the motherfucker. I told everybody that would listen. Oh, you know, because of the cut or whatever. Only thing we was cutting up was a rug yesterday. <laughs> Gangsters, what's up, guys? GK Black salute. Being Roly only deserves so much credit. I mean, yeah. But you got to remember, Roly went to go step up and fight Puello when Gary Anton Russell said he good. No, thank you. So he get respect for jumping, Roly to be jumping the ring with Puello, and it paid off. Uh, 402, uh, stand up. One, uh, one love hit the mic. But where for? What's 402? I don't know that area code. Hold on. Oh, shout out to Duke getting their ass whooped. That, that's the only, that's the, that's the longest game. Uh, that's the, oh, Omaha. Shout out to Omaha. I shouldn't do that. That's the longest college game I didn't watch. I'm watching that shit tomorrow, though. Caitlin Clark versus Andrew Reese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it last year. I'm watching that shit tomorrow. Hell yeah. That's the most anticipated game this year for me, bro. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. What? Who'd you lose, motherfucker? Hey. Hell yeah. I'll be watching that tomorrow. That shit gonna be that shit gonna be lit. Shout out to NC State. Keep beating Duke. They still beating Duke week. I can't stand Duke. Especially when Mike Krzyzewski stopped uh, Tommy Amaker, a black man, from becoming the next head coach for for uh John Shire bum ass. They be still yeah, so they beating their ass. Yeah, fuck that, man. I ain't never like Coach K Ho ass. He said props to Roley for not getting dropped. He was gonna lay down for sure. Yeah, he, he stayed up there. Black Jericho salute. Tim Zoo isn't the PBC fighter, correct? No, he's just an affiliate, from what I understand. Adolf, he said good weekend for MX fighters. Did you see the Valdez fight? Yeah, I seen a little bit of I thought he was gonna get knocked out the way old buddy was fighting in the beginning. Shout out to Sense uh Sinise Estrada. I fuck with her. Yeah, right, let me take you out to the Cheesecake Factory, girl. Let, let me take you out to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought Liam Wilson was gonna clip his head, but this dumbass went southpaw and got knocked the fuck out. I seen that much. He deserved that. Even when the Euro bombs should win, motherfucker turned southpaw. Was they fight for a title? What up, Dodo? My long time don't see. Uh, with Cruz and Fondor winning, guarantee Spence and Tank get another shot in the division. I'm gonna speak on Tank real quick, without a real, real risk and crash. W. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you why I don't think Tank gonna be so quick to hop in that ring. Let me catch up with these comments. We are gonna speak on that. Talk about Fondor Zell because I already really spoke on this shit. And then we are gonna get into the meat and potatoes of Crawford Spence and Fondor. And I ain't really mad at Errol Spence for getting a shot. He said boxing needs to come back to the Midwest. Yeah, I need to go where. where Black fighters need to go where they welcome and not tolerate it or not, uh, you know, or not uh, put on a uh, platter to be a uh, fucking, uh, what you call it, to be uh, to be fed. I forgot, I can't think of it. You know, not to be motherfucking fed to the, some Mexicans or whatever. Uh, Eastside League salute. He said, you are the GOAT. You called that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I called Parker and Zang, too. You niggas didn't listen to me when I said Parker and Zang, too. I really be half ass watching film now, bro. This shit don't interest me no more, man. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I knew that much. I thought Rowley was gonna win, man. I don't. Cruz, I ain't got a problem with Cruz. He just was trash his last fight. But I, I guess he switched it up. I seen a lot of improvement. He switched that shit up because he's gonna get knocked out if he didn't. He said Tank was definitely rooting for Rowley. Yeah, he don't want to fight nobody shorter than you. Man, I seen this nigga at Walmart today. This nigga had to be about five foot. I said, oh, my goodness. I said, I know hoes be hoeing him. On that balloon game, they be hoeing the fuck out of short niggas. But on on, on the on the, on the real, I be seeing a bunch of chicks with, with short niggas that they deem short. So I don't be believing what these hoes be saying on the internet, dog. I be seeing them with a bunch of short ass niggas, man. Real talk. I be seeing them niggas with a bunch of short. I be doing surveys in my head. Like, oh, that bitch with a short nigga. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And short niggas be already die for them bitches though. Tripping over this bitch. That's my bitch, nigga. Oh, die for that pussy. Oh, is that oh yeah, I seen the Laura fight. Zephyr ain't shit. Shit, Laura look about 70 years old. 
for a black person or for a melanated person. You know, that nigga said, I'm Cuban. I ain't no nigga, man. Come on, man. This is a sick Negro. Carl X, salute. He said, I'm going to speak on Tang. He said, I'm from Natty's niggas uh, cheap here. That's true. Y'all some hating ass niggas too, though. Y'all used to hate Detroit niggas, man. <laughs> I'm gonna let my nigga Lando come on and can tell you about that shit. <laughs> what's, what's the black college? Wilberforce? Yeah, them niggas was beef with Cincinnati. I know a bunch of Detroit niggas used to go down there and sell dope in Cincinnati and run Cincinnati hoes and shit back in the day till y'all got y'all shit together, bro. Hell yeah, Cincinnati can't stand Detroit niggas, but I don't blame them niggas, but I can't stand these niggas neither, bro. I really can't. That's <laughs> 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 so why I left the city. I'm, I'm going back though. I go cap. I got. I might move downtown or something. He said Tank rather fight Roly, but he's uh, bringing no money because Cruz actually got a follow behind him now, so that make it worse for Tank. I mean, if we could say that, let me tell you this: if Javante Davis fight Roly and win the belt, it's gonna be so much pressure for him to unify, and maybe that's why them niggas ain't re-signed Sabria Matias. They offered him Jerron Bucinas because they knew um, they couldn't use the, across the side of the street thing with Sabria Matias, so he went to match room. Um, but I don't. I think he gonna be even. He gonna run, run, go up there, fight Cruz, drop the belt, and they gonna find a way to give it to like Robert Jr. I think he might be getting healthier or Gary Anton Russell, or you know, I think that's what's gonna happen if he do fight him. Real talk. I really think he gonna drop the belt. I don't think that. Uh, I really don't think. I know it's in Dayton, but a bunch of Cincinnati was going to school. Nigga, why well, everybody was going to school in the Midwest and that motherfucker? But uh, too cold for my black ass. But uh. But I think with uh, I, I don't think Tank gonna stay there, cause then it's gonna be a bunch of pressure to unify with Devin Haney, Sabrio Matias, and Tiafimo Lopez. He don't wanna fight none of them niggas, dude. He ain't gonna fight none of them. It's gonna be a bunch of pressure to unify. So I don't I don't really think Tank gonna move up there. And if he do move up there, it's just gonna be getting a title. It's gonna be a a, a tizzy tour. <laughs> that brother's channel is Accountable Commentary. I wanna say that's his channel name, man. He be having me dying laughing. Hold on. I want to get that brother shot. Uh, accountable commentary. That's his channel name. Now, if you if you sensitive and, and you know you don't like a little bit of comedy and you love black women, don't go over there. I tell you that right now. Don't go over there. He said it's a Keisha free zone over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just warning you. I put this class why well, I ain't sent Kobe to the channel yet. You know, Kobe, we ain't converted Kobe all the way over to snow buttonism. <laughs> it's all Jermaine Fool. It's always Jermaine Fool. Oh man, this shit is hilarious, man. But uh, but yeah, that nigga Javante, man, he don't want to get in the ring with that. If Devin Haney look bad his next fight, then yeah, and we'll see. It's a chance that Ryan Garcia can win. I've seen stranger things happen in boxing. You know what I'm saying? But Tank don't want to fight no nigga shorter than him. Yeah, you. He can't even find sparring shorter than him. You know what I'm saying? And Esau Cruz can take a punch. So, yo, but if he go up there and he fight Esau Cruz at 140, people going to expect him to get in the ring with Devin Haney, Matias, or Tiafima Lopez. So I don't think if he go up there, it's a hit it and quit it. It's a hit it and split it. You know what I'm saying? He going up there, get a belt, drop it, and go back down. You know? Cause I don't think nobody would have. I don't think nobody. I don't think PBC is interested in signing Shakira Stevenson. And don't forget, Paul Paul and Kenneth Sims are also secondary mandatories for that WBA fight. Kenneth Sims and Esai Cruz, that's a good fight. Kenneth Sims, I think, just might have too much cigar go sauce for him. You know, Barros and Esai Cruz is a fun fight too. You know, if 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 Esau Cruz can take Barrow's punch, then his chin ain't nobody probably knocking him out. Not named Matias. So I don't think Tank Davis is gonna go knock on that door. If he do, he gonna get the ball. He gonna fumble it on purpose and go back down to one thirty five. I'm telling y'all, they not putting him in. They not gonna put him in the ring with the mother killers. And he ain't raising his hands. And he be thirty this year. He ain't raising his hands to get in the ring with them killers. He ain't built like that. Say what you want to say with Earl. Earl, you know, well, then again, it's different because Tank can make the amount of money he fighting, fighting vagabonds. And Earl got to fight a certain caliber of fighter to make the type of money that, that he going to make. So that, that's a huge difference. Tank can just keep nickel and dominant. 
You know, will it be another Ryan Garcia to come up? Absolutely not. Those are rarities in boxing. Guys that, that are marketable, that fight just good enough, but really ass. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are are, 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 are are anomalies in this shit. Ryan Garcia should retire and give a class on how to market your fighter. You know what I'm saying? But if he fight Esau Cruz, he going to pick the belt up and give it right back. Mark my words. Hey, what was that game, NCAA, when you hit the button by mistake and you can uh you can lateral it back? <laughs> I used to hit that fucking button by mistake all the fucking time. I, I'm never I was never really good at college football. I was more of a mad player. You know what I'm saying? But I enjoyed the, the college sports games used to be fire, especially one on 2K. Remember uh March Madness on PlayStation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh Let's move on to find door. I'm gonna read some more comments, then we move on to find door, man. Like I said, I got exclusive live streams talking about those fights last night. So if you want more in deep depth detail, then just go check those those lives on YouTube. I probably won't put them on the uh on the uh podcast. They they 22 and like 33 minutes apiece. 122 33 33. Uh I agree. He said tank would rather fight row. Okay, I read that one. Yeah, Will before we don't niggas is going up there, Cincinnati area where yeah, I, I've been in Dayton a couple times in the last few years. He said Al played Tim Zoo like a two out of three or four. Yeah, I'm about to cook on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruz versus Gary and Gary Anton Russell ain't nowhere in that WBA rankings. Not not the ones I seen. Though my tank just want to get another title up under his belt since the baby bell gag has ran his course. I agree if he'll get get it and drop it real quick. Excuse me, brother, Dr. Umar voice. Oh, y'all need a Dr. Umar draft. This is a sick Negro. This is a sick Negro. <laughs> the Jessica, what's going on? Carl, hey, man, we joke, we joke. And he's going to say, oh, man, this nigga's a white supremacist lover, man. It's chill, chill, chill. I can't do the snow bunnies. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> what's next for Tim? I'll get there. He's going to fight Bud next for the vacant WBO. Josh Kelly going to get a little bit of step aside money. Let's talk about Fondor. I knew this was coming, bro. Well, man, sometimes you can see an ass whooping coming. And um, y'all can say, well, we wasn't for the cut. You know, this and that, man. Fondor mouth was bleeding too. Joe Goosa kept pointing out it's difficult to keep swallowing blood too. And it wasn't like Fondor hit that nigga with the, with the Mexican people elbow, whatever he is. This nigga like Mexican, Cuban. You know, this nigga, this, he everything, you know? Um, it wasn't like he intentionally, Tim Zhu took his head and hit it on uh, Fondora's elbow. So, come on, man. That's not, you know, you can't blame that. Come on, get him out of here. Get, get, get out of here. Move him out of here. You know, so at the end of the day, I just see the, uh, as far as the fight, it took for Fondora opponent and him to get cut for this motherfucker to fight behind his height and reach. And Tim Zhu couldn't really get around his reach no more because he couldn't see. And with him not being able to see, I think Fondor coaches gave him great instructions. He showed that he could be disciplined. But in my opinion, I felt like some Fondor really should have sat on that backhand. I know he went southpaw too. He should have really sat on that backhand. If time, if Fondor really, really, would have really sat down on that backhand. And came back with a hook and, and turned his ass out of there. Fondora would have knocked him out because he couldn't see the punches coming. Tim Zoo tough. Fondora really should have started punching through the target. And I know, you know, uh, you know, it would have given him an opportunity to get knocked out, get out of position and all that shit. But he should have really started sitting down on that right hand and punching through the target. And came and he could have knocked him out. He couldn't see the punches. But you know, he did the safe thing. He knew. He was in a, a, a pro-Mexican crowd. You know, he knew that being in Vegas, as long as his name wasn't Rayo Venezuela, he was going to get the he was going to get the benefit of the doubt. He was the true PBC fighter. And he was going to get the benefit of the doubt. I told y'all if it's close, who I told y'all I was going to. So, you know, Tim Zoo really couldn't get around the reach because he couldn't see. You know. So, and I, I expect to find door really did turn into a wild animal, but his sister said something very keen. He said, we just want him just to keep it real basic. And he followed instruction. That motherfucker should fight like that every time. But he told Joe Goosey, you don't fight like that because he liked to fight. Oh, these niggas don't fight like that because these ADH uh, motherfucking Ritland babies. 
how you don't have discipline in, in the ultimate sports, you got to be disciplined. One lapse in judgment, you could be knocked out. One little Debbie snack cake can push you, you know, can make you lose your title on the scales. So I smoke, I understand these niggas smoking some weed, drinking some alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Because, and maybe even doing some other type of drugs, because that type of shit is hard on your body, bro. But how, you know, how can you not be in, in the boxing ring and not be disciplined to follow the game plan that best suits your, you know, your physical attributes is wild to me. You got to understand, you know, um, discipline is, is instilled. That's instilled. You know, if you let your kids cut corners early in life, you know, this is why they say you start how you finish. You, fin you start how you finish. This is what I tell y'all. If you get your kids into a routine, whatever it may be, you know, and I like what Charleston White said. I ain't like that shit he did to Gilly the kid. He need to get a, uh, he really need that ass before he said about Gilly. I don't play that shit. Smack the shit out of his ass. All right. But I like what he said. He said, the best children in the world are the children that's told what to do. You know, Tiger Woods, daddy told him to go golf, what to do. You know, Serena, Venus, I mean, go on and on. Was it Pete Sanford's or is it Andre Agassi, the ball? Father told him what to do. Even though he didn't like doing it, that's the best thing you do. So how you start off in this in this with your children, you know, especially in this boxing shit, man, you got to instill discipline. What uh, Big Floyd said, he said, I don't care what Floyd said, no pain, no gain. He said, I instilled that in him. And that's act like Floyd won't Floyd won't be shit without Floyd Senior. And let me say that about Floyd Senior too, man. For you to be able to learn something, comprehend something, and teach something is totally three different things. You can learn something and not be able to really comprehend it to the point where you can teach it. Shout out to Joe Kawasaki's father too. Rest in power to him. You know, once you're able to really learn something and you're able to understand it and you're able to teach it. Like that's that's a special type of patience. That's a special type of uh, 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 a gift. Y'all look at shit like that as gift. Being able to teach something and articulate it to somebody else. That's a gift. Shout out to NC State. Shout out to NC State beating bum ass dude. Shout out to them doing it for the culture. I do this for us, baby. I do this for that culture that they talk about. I do this for the culture that they hate on. Hey. It's time. You know, so, you know, he should fight like that all the time and then find and, and just make find ways, just to find times where he's going to take those chances. But um, Tim Zoo did have a rematch clause. Oh, Coach Malachi said he heard he didn't have one. Tim Zoo had a rematch clause. Um, but PBC going to run that game on him, bro. Good job, Alan. PBC about to run game on Tim Do you Zoo. understand the word? I did a video on this. Hold on real quick. Hold on. So he had a rematch clause. I don't know the article I read. Um, he had a rematch clause. Uh, hold on real quick. He had a rematch clause. Hold on. I was just reading the uh the article. I just did the video on it. So, yeah, I don't know what happened to the article, but I was reading it. But uh, let me see if I can pull it up. I don't know, unless they took it down. But he said, they said he had a, a rematch clause. Here we go. This ain't the article I read, though. But they said he had a rematch clause. And uh, y'all can see the video I did earlier. On YouTube, Good Fellow TV. He had a rematch clause in uh hold on. And they said in the rematch clause, um they said in the rematch clause that uh that y'all oh, he had you know he he the rematch was supposed to be in Australia. And what's so funny about it was supposed to be in Australia. He said he was done fighting in Australia. Then they were saying, well, Fondor ain't going to Australia. Since he ain't going to Australia, then they got to wait one fight. 
you know, he got a way to fight, and then they're gonna do the rematch. So I don't know what happened to the article. I guess they took the, the link down, but you can see the video I did earlier. I uh, I read it. So uh, but he said, yeah, then he said, yeah, he had a rematch clause. Yep, they said he had a rematch clause, but they were going around saying that uh that he needed to take a fight before the rematch clause. He get a fight. So some bullshit in the game. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Tim Zoo was talking about his team was talking about dropping the WO bill, avoiding Terrence Crawford. He had already ducked Terrence Crawford. Let me tell y'all the backstory before we go into this Crawford and Spence shit. And I'm gonna take a little break. He had already ducked Terrence Crawford. They was in negotiation to fight March 30th. It, it was told to me. On one side of the street, on one side of it, they told me that Tim Zoo don't want to fight. Bet, right? Y'all can guess who said that. When I got to my PBC people, they told me that you know uh, PBC promised Tim Zoo and Keith Thurman to find. I mean the uh, the Errol Spence winner. You know, so they promised him, okay, you get past Keith Thurman, you'll fight Errol Spence. So he took that deal. So he knew he wasn't fighting Terence Crawford. He already knew that. He already he had already made the made the choice. I'm to, I to, what I tell y'all in October, Croft. I mean Spence and Derek and Charlo left Derek James. I said that October 2023, about six months later, whatever it was. Hey, look at y'all niggas on the late freight. <laughs> you know, and what I tell y'all a month ago about about Tim Zoo, he wasn't fighting, but he was going to fight Earl Spence if he got past his last fight. And what I tell who hopped in the ring. So I mean, I be telling y'all niggas, man. Ain't too many more people more plugged in than me on this shit. I, I hear so much shit about these niggas, man. These niggas is, you know, a lot of niggas on that side is very, very, like, hated. There's a lot of weird activity going over there. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. It's a, lot, it's a changing of the guard going over there right now. Right now. It's a lot of changing of the guard going on over there. You know, y'all heard my stream yesterday. What I said about Al Hey, man, I'm telling y'all niggas, man. Telling y'all, you know, but uh, apparently, you know, uh, Bud and uh, Arrow going on it, going at it on Twitter again. It's funny how you got to go at it with a nigga who asked you beat, and you know, he get to jump the line. But I ain't mad at him jumping the line. I, I ain't mad. Everything happened for a motherfucking reason. Listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason. So Paco W.O. President, great fight in Vegas. Tim Zhu showed again that he's one of the best 54 pounders. Congrats to Tim Fondor. Tremendous W.O. title bout and Fondor receives just decision. Next week, W.O. will order negotiation for Fondor, Terrence Crawford, right? I did a stream after the fight. I don't know. It's one of the live streams I did yesterday. It might be the Zoom one. I can't remember. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, they already told y'all they was dropping the belt. You know what I'm saying? They already told y'all they was dropping the belt. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Why are people get? I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad the nigga jumping the line. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let them know how mad you are with your time and your and your monies. As old people say, let them know how mad you with your time and your money. Don't entertain that bullshit if you choose not to. Me personally, Earl Spence about to get his motherfucking ass beat. Come on. Come on, man. See, Tim Zoo, I mean, uh, Fondora got knocked out with a shot. And I told y'all before he fought Luba, he got knocked out in camp. So he ain't no stranger to, 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 to bouncing back from getting knocked the fuck out. It's happened before. That ain't never happened to Earl Spence in boxing. That wasn't no knockout. He would have got knocked the fuck out like Fondor if the referee, all these niggas referees in Vegas playing Captain Save a Ho. Ain't y'all tired of that shit? Let these niggas like Roley get knocked the fuck out. All these referees in Vegas playing Captain Save a Ho. Like the world is so safe, man. It's so, it's so damn safety first. How many refs we seen rob niggas of a highlight reel knockout? You know. How many times we seen these niggas rob these niggas of a highlight reel knockout? Come on, these niggas grabbing niggas, saving niggas, stopping fights prematurely and all that. Come on, nobody want to hear that. It's nasty work. 
nasty work. But I ain't mad. He said, sir, you got to work your way back up. No, he don't. Unfortunately, this motherfucker don't. He don't. He want to go in there coming off a loss with a new trainer. Let him. This fight they just did tonight, I guarantee you, it didn't crack 50,000 buys. I really want to tell you, probably didn't crack 10,000 buys. Ain't nobody watched that shit. And I think it was a UFC fight going on at the same time. Ain't nobody buy it. How many of you niggas hit, hit, hit? I'm, I'm going to do the champ side. Hit the number one if you watched the pay per view last night. <laughs> hit the number one if you watched the pay per view last night. <laughs> Come on. Hit the number one if you watched the pay per view last night. Come on. <laughs> Ain't none of you niggas buy that shit. All these niggas screaming PBC. You down with PBC? Oh, you know me. You down with PBC? All oh, the homies. Come on. Come on. Then Earl Spence, you know, responded and said, I don't do lines. My first thing was like, dog, who said you did coke? When I woke up and seen this shit, I said, who said you did coke, bro? Nah, that ain't it, y'all. <laughs> Real talk. I said, who woke up and said this nigga was doing coke? He said, I don't do lines. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on me. Hey, I woke up and said, somebody said, I said, man, who said Earl out here doing lines? That's motherfucking Charlo. <laughs> I do this for us, baby. I do this for that culture that they talk about. I do this for the culture that they hate on. Hey, I'm, it's time. Oh, man, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yo, who said this nigga out here doing uh, doing the devil's dandruff? This I was, I woke up, I had to wipe my eye, wipe the coals off my eye, see who pays me and why. It's my nigga Pop from the barber shop. <laughs> he was at the gambler spot, heard the intricate plot. <laughs> Oh, I know who said Earl out here doing doing the devil's dandruff, dog. That's what my first man. I woke up and see that shit, man. I said, oh man, I'm still tired. Let me go back to sleep, bro. I'm, I'm out here wilding. I'm <laughs> out here on 10. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, bro, he said, I don't do lines. He get to jump the line. So be it. I ain't even mad about it, bro. I'm gonna tell you what Bud could do too. I'm gonna get this nigga a solution. He already know this. I'm gonna give him a solution. But I ain't mad. Let him go fight Sebastian Fondora. Let him. The nigga look out of shape, and I'm going to get to that comment Bud uh, put up. He got a new trainer. He is as defensively unresponsible as Sebastian Fondor. Y'all really don't know how bad Earl Spence is, bro. Like, that nigga's ass. I, I've been saying it for years. Once you go through and you break down the tape, the nigga's ass. He don't bring his hands back home. His foot be over, all his weight be over his front foot. When he on the inside, his chin is hanging down. No, the defense don't get tired. Once you really break him down technically, that's when niggas say, oh, he's the best technical fighter of all time. I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Are you habitually using drugs, stimulants, alcohol? I could break the film down. I broke it down on Instagram. It still may be up. I showed y'all before the Crawford fight. That motherfucker is ass. Terrence Crawford exposed almost every hole he had. Besides the one Deontay Water like. <laughs> no diddy like. That's <laughs> Boys, nigga. Oh, man. Let me stop. 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 Let me, stop. Let me calm down. <laughs> oh, man. Not to do Dwight Howard this shit. <laughs> but, uh,. But yeah, man, these, yeah, I told y'all, man, like, my nigga ass. Once you really watch the film, dude, dude is, is whack Arnold's. I keep telling y'all niggas this shit, bro. He makes so many fundamental mistakes. It's not funny. When I say this dude make mad fundamental mistakes, It's not funny. And really, y'all don't even see the bigger plan here. You know, you don't see what I see every day being Warren G. 
I'm getting sick and tired of niggas tell you, tell, selling me Warren. I told you. <laughs> he said, Earl Spence, nigga, you look like a linebacker, my guy. He did look big as hell in that ring, looking like mystical. Uh-oh, here I go. <laughs> Don't jump. Move. You hear them headlights? You see that fucking crowd? I'm coming through. Well, I mean, they can fight Fondora. Fuck it. They drop the belt, just make them look a lot worse. Everybody's seeing what they're doing. Now you even got PBC, PBC sexual sexuals in the media seeing what they're doing, saying it's not right. They just blatant with it now. It's like your homie just bust out or bitch just bust out and start doing a line of coke. They don't even want to hide it no more. They speaking it so bad. Let them have that. You what you do is don't complain about it, don't speak on it. Ain't nobody buying Errol Spencer Fondora. Ain't nobody buy Fondora Tim Zoo. PBC is a sinking ship, bro. You see that the production, the 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 clarity of and how smooth the production ran. That ran better than most of zone productions. But you can see it's rinky dink. This shit is just threw together. They probably lost money last night. They gave Tim Zoo 10 million. You know what I'm saying? They probably lost money last night. That company ain't going nowhere, bro. Nobody see they constantly hustling backwards. They get kicked off of HBO. They get Showtime. They get Bounce TV. Spike they gets kicked off of, well, excuse me, after HBO, Bounce TV, Spike, NBC, ESPN. All of them says you're not worth the investment. They get pushed back to, to Showtime. Then they get Fox. Fox say, oh, hell no, you're going to pay us to put this shit on. Then Fox got up out of there. Showtime got up. Nobody see them hustling backwards. This Prime thing ain't even here to stay. Prime didn't do one ounce of promotion. Prime didn't even act like this shit existed. No cap. I was watching Invincible, the, the latest episode yesterday. I wasn't even thinking about the fight. You know, I was watching Prime TV while I was doing my club, while my laundry and shit. And it was no promotion on Prime TV about the fight coming on Saturday night. None. Ain't nobody buy this shit, bro. And ain't nobody buying Fondora and Errol Spence in Dallas, Texas, man. Jake Paul and, Fu and, Ty and Mike Tyson gonna do a better crowd than they are. They gonna do better numbers than them. So y'all crying about nobody buying that shit, bro. Fondora, people don't even know the fuck Fondora is. And Earl Spence gonna get motherfucking Hawk smashed in there. His fa he might not even make it to the fight. Every time he do some whole ass shit, he pay for it. Don't forget that. He tried to get the Manny Pacquiao fight. What happened? What happened to that ass? What happened? Uh-uh. Smack that ass back down. That nigga ain't even going to make it to this fight. This nigga said, oh, oh you know, Terrence Crawford better step because I'm stepping. We still waiting this whole ass nigga to step, step, step in that fight. Come on, we still ready for him to step. These, these niggas ain't man, dude. Y'all think his intent is to fight Terrence Crawford. I ain't even I ain't even got started yet. Y'all think his intent is to fight Terrence Crawford. Yeah, okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> In my clip's voice. Come on, man. These niggas ain't trying to. I'm telling y'all they playing, bro. And these are the and people still going at the back. Oh, why Bud don't sign the sign there? Did y'all not hear what uh that brother uh father's kid also said? He said them niggas wanted them to hand over intellectual property, bro. Do you understand what that mean, bro? Y'all niggas understand what that mean? If this bro, nigga Bud had an idea to sell boxing shorts, out him and get a piece of that and probably have ownership over that. Come on, these niggas ain't in no good deal, bro. They ain't no good deal. Why would I sign over to a company that dogged me out for the last five to six years? You know, and instead of work with me on a fight by fight basis like Canelo will give me a solid three fight deal, what they try to do? They try to cut me off with the legs and, and take and take a unified title shot away from me. Why not negotiate in good faith and then get me to sign over here? You know, Bob Arum said him and Marvin Hagler never had a, a, a multi-fight year deal. They was always on the fight-by-fight -fight deal. Why would I fuck with y'all and I know y'all playing? 
Why would I sign to Al Heyman knowing now he got complete control? I don't have no guarantees when I fight. He didn't want to let me fight Earl Spence. That sounds stupid. Oh, he just don't sign over there. Why would I sign over there? Why would I sign a bad deal? I just retired before I signed a bad deal. Why not believe in your fighters? Let it go to purse bid. Fight Bud in a unification bout. And if you feel like y'all, we can get a deal together, struck, struck, so be it. If not, somebody come in and win the purse bid. It's the same shit they were screaming about Jerron Boots Ennis. He offered Jerron Boots Ennis two. He said two times I offered to fight that man. He said he loyal to Showtime. You loyal to a company that everybody and their mama knew was going out of business. Marinate on that for a minute. These niggas is scared, bro. They ain't trying to fight. And what they trying to do with Errol Spence? They're trying to do Errol Spence and Canelo. They building Errol Spence up for Canelo. Remember I told you Canelo still wanted to fight Errol Spence despite him losing to Terrence Crawford, but he wanted to refuse to fight Terrence Crawford? That's what they that's what they trying to build up towards. They trying to do they building Errol Spence to go back up there and fight Canelo Alvarez. And watch Canelo come down like 165 for Errol Spence or some shit. That's what they gunned him for. I don't need no inside information for that. And why the fuck Sam got his fucking tongue out like that? No diddy, like that's come on. Come on, bro. Y'all niggas gotta ride with me, bro. I know I'm playing chess and y'all used to playing Connect Four. Come on, man. Let, let me we gotta get this, man. Come on. Damn, that shit was dope. We got to get this shit, bro. Y'all like Errol Spence going to go in there and win. That bitch about to get his ass whooped. I hope that's the last time he able to put food on this table. Yep, I said that shit. I sure did. I sure did. More do you want from me? <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be the Spence fan. He said, ooh, we boy did. They played Tim Zoo last night. That was ugly when their goal was to fight Charlo for Undisputed, and he still didn't get the fight. Now he's on the outside looking in with the L. At least he had a rematch clause. And I'm, let me speak on Tim Zoo real quick, but I don't get the rest of these comments. They played Tim Zoo. I told y'all, man, Tim Zoo was a guest. You know how y'all let some of these white boys come to the cookout? Yeah, yeah, I'll invite Justin Timberlake to the cookout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, uh, 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 Matthew McConaughey can come to the cookout. This is a sick Negro. They invited Tim Zoo to the cookout, and they cooked his ass. They invited Tim Zoo to the black, the Mexican black hunt, and they hunted his ass down. He was never fighting Erickson Lubin. How was they gonna put that on pay per view? He was never fighting Keith Thurman. I told y'all everything I said. It happened, bro. I said he not fighting Keith Thurman. That fight would not happen March 30th. Who the fuck was right? Come on, man. Come on, man. We all gonna start riding with me, bro. Come on. I told everything that happened, I told y'all and it happened. I predicted all of this. This shit ain't hard to tell. Tim Zoo got served up. He got served up. He got served up. His old country bumpkin ass Australian partners didn't see that coming. If he was Mexican, oh, he would have got the decision last night. I'm telling you, they played him. And I said, and I said, and I continue to say, y'all said, why well, Bud don't sign over there and you know and be an affiliate like Tim Zoo? That's why. That's why. Would you sign to the devil? Come on, some of you niggas would. But guess what? When you sign to the devil. When you sign with God, you know, one day they one day it gotta be reckoning that you got the answer for what you did. Diamond said that's what happens when you fight with a taller guy. That's a, that's why he got cut. That's how Tim liked to fight on the inside. He said Tim got the Pacquiao last minute. I've normally switched him with the uh front uh tree tall guy against front door, just like Manny got Ugas instead of Spence. Yep, it, it, don't forget Rails Venezuela got a last switch with Edwin D. Los Santos. And got fucking iced. It was a couple more of them niggas that got whooped on uh, whooped on with last uh, minute replacements. You know, wasn't Hector Luis Garcia a last minute replacement for Chris Colbert? Or am I tripping? He says to return the big fish man down steel. Shout out to 704 Joe. He said for Honduras, Taylor made for Spence with a uh, body attack. He had chopped that tree down. Spence isn't, uh, isn't complete, uh, complete shot fire. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. If you can't make it through a if you can't make it through a fight, listen to here. If you can't make it through a training camp without getting injured, 
And he don't have no defense. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas that, bro. He don't have no defense, bro. Mark, mark my words. He don't have no defense. And your face already fucked up. He going to sleep, bro. If he make it to the fight, he getting stopped on cuts. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Brayden. Have you seen Spence at 54 before? Oh, he looked fucking horrible. He looked horrible. Do Spence know even how to cut the... Do Spence even know how to get his head off the line to get to Fondor? He don't move his head. He's going to get stopped by uppercut. If he make it to the fight, he's going to get split open. He's going to get stopped on cuts. Mark my words, bro. And they're going to be trying to push Fondor for Canelo then. This is a horrible matchup for him. He is so defensively bad, it's, it's not funny. Floyd saying Roger are all time great trainers. I must agree. Get ready for Spence fans to crawl out there. Hey, been crawling out there, ho. No, no diddy. No diddy. Like, that's. Ricky 245. He said verbal rematch clause. We know Fondora manager is a liar and the weasel isn't going to keep his word. I mean, yeah, if that's the case. He said never went into a hole. Whores, nigga. Uh, I want Juju walking sexy ass to win. These niggas sexualizing the basketball players. Me too, nigga. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> he says, uh, jump, jump that line. He said, that's bad karma. Always come back. Ask Keith. Yup. Ask Earl. That nigga was about to say, oh, fought Pacquiao and did this many pay-per-views. And then the fake Pacquiao got in that motherfucker and started putting hands on that motherfucker. That's my pleasure. Right. Nobody mad. We just it can't see this shit coming. We can see this shit coming a mile away. Yeah, man. Get your money. This will be your last big payday, big fish. Spence will get the fight before Bud. It is what it is. It is what it is. I think he meant ain't no waiting in line, Spence. And I don't even defend. It's cool. Oh, he gonna go jump that line, and he gonna get punks jump up to get beat down. Boom, 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 boom. You bought that shit, Mark. No, I mean he didn't buy that shit. Shout out to Mark. He didn't buy that shit. <laughs> oh, how's Earl pop up like that? Ain't nothing happening. Got your ass, he, man. And then the nigga was scared for the media to question him about the fight. I mean, shit, I ain't mad at him. He had to pop up at some time. AB got knocked out by, or got beat up by Madonna, came back the next week talking shit. You know, they're going to be like, oh, we could just act like this don't happen. Man, he about to get his ass beat. When you get your ass whooped like he got versus Bud, dude, he about to get toe up. And in, in my opinion, he ain't even he ain't even more talented than Erickson Lubin. If Erickson Lubin can squeeze down to 47, his, his career would be way better than Earl Spence's. I'm just saying. Earl Spence was a product of being, it was pro matchmaking and being bigger than other people. That's it. And then you can't even say, well, he changed his lifestyle. As soon as he got beat by Bud, nigga ran overseas and started getting drunk with his bitch. <laughs> and then you see what he been doing. You know, they said this nigga look like a linebacker. You know, I didn't look at that nigga's facial features and they size, whatever. But you know, he ain't even in shape. So y'all talk about oh, he gonna weaken. He telling this nigga ain't even in shape. You know, only take eight to ten weeks. You know, at the end of the day, don't that nigga need to work on some shit? Okay, no trainer say this nigga. As bad as he his defense is, Calvin can't save him, Floyd can't save him. You can dig Roger up and he can't save him. I said Tim Zoo will beat the fuck out of him too. Me and Bo Mac disagreed on that. I said I feel Tim Zoo still beat his ass. Earl Spence at 54 was trash. Y'all just don't know. Bud doing all that yapping just for Spence to be up next. Ain't no point. He still got to drop that belt. That belt he got over his right shoulder got to be dropping. Bud will be fighting for that belt. He still got to drop that belt. Like it or not, he still got to drop that belt. It don't even matter. And it's something else that Errol Spence can do, too. I mean, Terrence Crawford can do, too. Y'all niggas ain't thinking about it, But I'm going to speak on it. So he can yap all he want to. And he can say, well, I, I can just skip the line all he want to. Don't forget the nigga was undisputed. So he can petition both the WBA and the WBC, a nice little contribution from his pockets. He can be the mandatory for both of them at the same time because he was undisputed. So come on. Don't forget that. Not this nigga got the cigar smoking weed lips. This nigga ain't been living right. Most of these niggas ain't living right. Keep your pistol. Fuck a fight. Because most of these niggas ain't living right. Come on, man. 
this nigga lips. Uncle Airway tell Craig. <laughs> he says it's annoying because it's messing up the genuine predictability factor in boxing. It's not fun when you know what's going to happen. And it is what it is. Thank you, PBC. Good job, Alan. He says, shit, we know Earl was doing lines with Derek James allegedly. Oh, man. Some wild shit. <laughs> Box that bitch. PBC for life. There you go. You go. Don't forget. Go down with the ship. When that bitch go down in bankruptcy, I want to see you still. I want to see you still rocking the PBC gear. Buzz said that nigga like a line, but that nigga ain't been doing shit but eating, but being the bitch's toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> eating happy meals and shit and not paying niggas their money. Very predictable one two puncher. Nigga ain't got no hook. You would think Spence doing Canelo numbers the way these fangirls. So that motherfucker ain't doing Ramon Alvarez numbers, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That nigga ain't even doing Ramon Alvarez numbers. He said, W.O. Purse at Buzz next, so either they fight. They dropping the belt. But he can petition to the WBC and have them order and make them mandatory in both. But the WBC, I like they scared of Al Hammond or some shit. Probably got some Diddy tapes on him. I don't have probably got some Diddy tapes. No Diddy, like that. He said, um, he said, W person said, okay, we're done. He said, built like a linebacker. That's a compliment, bro. That ain't no damn compliment. That's that nigga out of shape. <laughs> that nigga out of shape. That's what that nigga, man. Ain't no damn compliment. That nigga out of shape. These niggas ain't fighting till the summertime. That nigga out of shape. This the last pay that this bitch about to make around here. Damn, man, get out there, good fellow. You said too much. <laughs> get one, get these PBC fans bad. Man, you know, he Earl probably was at them Diddy parties too with Deontay Wilder and Malik Scott. No Diddy, like, that's... <laughs> that's why uh, Hood Sports Advice, that's why... Where, where my nigga Chop at, bro? Chop, where you at, bro? Man, we need you to come on. That's why he kept them built so he can use the super status with the W on WBC. Yeah. Yeah, man, shit. And he just bought a dog from Chico. Chico uh uh from the WB is that W O W C Chico claim he he got the um uh he out there only pure pit bull. Man, I might give a fuck about that shit. Can, can your dog whoop my dog ass if you have to? Matter of fact, can your dog protect the fort and protect the crib if you want to? I don't give a fuck about that purebred shit. Unless you're a breeder. He is. Donovan, not if you're a junior middleweight 154. Real talk. He said, ain't Bud the super champion. I don't know what super champion, but he got the belt. Bud Ash probably looked like a linebacker, but they've been out there. No! See, this is where you wrong at. This is where you be. Aerosexual get your feelings hurt. You don't never see. I seen Bud out of shape one time, man. That's after he beat, he won undisputed at 154. I seen Bud out of shape one time. Bud, don't, you, you ain't been keeping up. I don't do that gate. Let me not say that. I don't do that weird shit the ego do. <laughs> Watch niggas' bodies and shit. But uh, he had a picture up, but it's gone now though. Hold on. But that brother, that brother in shape. That brother don't get any going to hold you. <laughs> you don't ever see Bud Bud get out of shape. That brother in shape. Support the channel, CJ Good three one three. Appreciate that. Cash App and Venmo. He said WC doesn't have a super champion. They have a franchise champ. Bud is the WOs. He can go up there. You still as a WC champion, you still can petition too to go up and be the mandatory. Same shit. And this one show. I read the whole comic. Yeah, a uh, Lion Killer got all the comics. I think he got all them bitches, dog. It's gonna get nasty when Thrag when when Thrag start mo uh, moving furniture. So. <laughs> Uh, Henry say uh, in the super chat, he said, stop in uh, by support of homie CJ, rally to Detroit, get them likes up, the video hit, the cash app, support channel. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, come by after work. I got the John Blaze shit for you. Yeah, so at the end of the day, once you start looking at this shit in its entirety and shit, he can ask WBC to order him as the mandatory too. Probably going to take a little cash app or a wire trans uh, transaction. But that's probably what's going to happen too. So I'm pretty sure they already got shit in works. Try like Bud about to beat Fondor. Man, motherfucker about to get Fondude. 
Nigga about to get dipped in cheese, nigga. A lot of fan spin hopping off the bandwagon after the massacre. Here they come back. Niggas gonna start re uh reactivating their pages and shit. They gonna go from talking black power shit to back to talking Spence shit. Come on. Spence gonna target that eye. I mean, Fondora gonna target that eye, as he should. Spence is God in this game, boxing game. He ain't no damn God. Spence YouTube fanboy is happy as hell. Go ahead. Why are you happy to go get his ass whooped? That's what I want to know. Why are they happy for him to go get his ass beat by Fondora? Like, he about to beat Fondora. That nigga ain't even Tim Zoo. He can't do what Tim Zoo was doing. He don't even have a skill set. When Tim Zoo was having a success before the cut, he ain't even, damn niggas ain't got the skill set. But it's a prime example of you can work hard and do the right thing and still get screwed, whether it's the women corporate. Man, how he getting screwed? I'm pretty sure he going to make a way, bro. He ain't he ain't really stressing about it, bro. Trust me. They, they got a plan. That's what you call selling your soul. He said they want him to sign an ankle grabber deal when clowns were signing uh, for, for signing after the fact. Yeah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, Spence fans better pray he don't run into, into Bud in another hallway again. I think he's going to go the other way. We ain't seen a, we ain't seen Jamil Charlo scary ass neither. He probably done. Why would you sign to a man that, to be shady? These boxing fans use no lock all emotion like women. Yeah, they is. Just sign, and, and, and why would I sign over there? And they don't have no amount of guarantees when you can fight or not fight. Hey, yo, yeah, it's nasty work out here. Why well, take the uh, take an obvious raw deal, especially when you establish you got money. When you got money and you got resources, you yeah, you can just say, "Oh, I'm good." You know what I'm saying? You get your pick of the litter. litter. When you get women, you get to be choosy. When you don't get women, you got to take what you can get. Henry again, he said, sign a few is equivalent to signing the bad boy. <laughs> no diddy, like. That's Al Heyman screaming, take uh, take that, take that. I thought he told, <laughs> I thought, I told, we told you that we won't stop. Appreciate it, bro. Straight cash, homie. It's just nasty work out here, y'all. PBC is bad business, not but Absolutely not. He said, why Boots uh, ain't finding another if he's so good? Boots can't even get a date. That nigga can't even get a date to the prime, my nigga. That nigga don't know when he fighting again. Al Diddy Heyman. No Diddy, like. It's Sinister is going to need the Avengers to stop him. Man, that nigga about to croak, I heard. I ain't wishing that on nobody, but that's what I heard. Coming off another year layoff, too. He said double fake the fuck out. You said it, bro. It, it was a uh, big right. Yeah, man, this shit, ain't, this shit is predictable. Mikey didn't have to go through these problems. No, he Mexican. Mikey is Mexican, man. Come on, man. What, what happened to, I don't fear no man but God? Correction, God and the nigga that shot me. Oh. <laughs> at all. He said they kept throwing cash uh, dummies at Tim. When, uh, that's when I knew he wasn't getting Charlo or crash dummies. Yeah. Charlo, every time Charlo, you bring up Charlo to fight Tim Zhu or you bring him up to fight uh Terrence Crawford, he start he started turning into a little female. He started turning into a female. He started getting all in his femininity, bro. He started getting in this soft girl era. Well, Terrence Crawford ain't do do what he did at 54 to deserve a shot. Deserve to be. I'm like, oh man. That nigga knew when he seen the Canelo fight, he knew. I'm going to get this bag. He ain't as bad as he came off. We knew he wasn't bad when Jerry Hurst slapped that nigga in the mouth and his brother had to come in and do nothing. <laughs> and do nothing. You got slapped right in your motherfucking mouth and you ain't do nothing. Spence has an excuse for his last five fights. Yeah, man, they got an excuse for his whole career. Doctor stoppage via, uh, the doctor stoppage via his eye. Spence going to look like uh, Lubin. He ain't taking that type of ass. So that nigga quit before he get his ass. Well, Lubin fought with some heart. And that putty from Dallas ain't. Well, he didn't let. He didn't quit versus Bud. Boy, I wish the referee would have let Bud. I do get his ass. Support the channel Venmo. CJ Good 313. He said Earl been drinking Henny and knocking back sandwiches. I mean, yeah. He been, that bitch been riding his face like a toilet seat, man. Spence looking like he smoked hard. Yeah, after you get your ass whooped like that. Remember he said on Twitter, like, when I first lost, I was waiting for any fan to run up to say something to me. Man, do you know you live in Texas? One of them niggas would have iced your ass. Them niggas, them niggas shoot niggas for less. 
that, I, I just don't understand why, like, like certain athletes and certain celebrities think you you won't get ice fucking with these fans. That's what I don't understand. Why they think they won't get a uh, player one out here? Bud and Fondora who win, man. I don't know, man. I probably favor Fondora. I don't know. I gotta really look at the film. But Bud, and Bud gonna have to use his legs. Bud gonna have to use his legs and the jab to the body. Yup, Doug gonna have to use his legs. Spence better off going to 60. 54 ain't gonna mean nothing to him. He didn't want 90. Ain't shit at 60 neither. And Jenna Big trying to go up and fight David Benavidez. I I buy that off the strength of Jenna Big being a real nigga, dog. I I buy that Benavidez and Jenna Big. I buy that just strength off of Jenna Big being a real motherfucker, man. Swiftful God and two white men. Wait, what? You need to... I just support that off the strength, man. I fuck with Jenna Big. Jenna Big looking looking to fight. J Cash salute. He said, "CJ, everything you said, uh, Thomas Lazarus about Bossy came true." Yeah, I told y'all, man. Y'all be thinking Rick Lazarus know everything, man. I feel like I know everything. He said, Fred be knowing too, though. Fred be knowing like a motherfucker, bro. He said, say, you know, niggas, he might come off salty. He hating or some shit like that. But Fred be knowing. He said, uh, bro got the locks talking about Weight Watchers. This nigga tried to change his hair like a Grand Theft Auto when he get away from the police. Like, we still wasn't going to know what was that nigga, man. He said, oh, no, Ego, A.K. Mr. Francis, San Francisco, Mr. Let Me Clap, check your fighter's hips. No diddy. Oh, man. No diddy. Like, oh, man, that's a wild shit. <laughs> Nasty work right there. That's the, I got to hang up there for a while. Nasty work. Lazy eye, small V6, boo. <laughs> oh, man, that's nasty work, right? That's nasty work right there, man. Nasty work, man. Filthy work on filthy work in the comment section, man. I'll put the link out there if somebody would have come on. I don't do this too often. I put it in the Discord. These niggas out here eating uh eating uh cabbage and fuck whatever y'all niggas eat on Easter, bro. Niggas ain't been to church since 1996 and want to go on Easter. Come on, man. Think oh man, them, them 10 bodies that I caught. <laughs> I go to church on Easter, man. God gonna uh, forgive me for all 10 bodies, man. I've been pulled away from a lot of black traditions, man. Thrag is a monster. Hell yeah. But, you know, uh, if you know the comics, you know what Mark about to do. He going to have to after the old girl put them hands, feet, paws, and elbows and toes on his ass. When Conquest show up. Uh, he said when Conquest shows up. Man, that shit going to be even better next year. But X-Men 97 got the trap saying, I that shit is fire too. I can't wait till the boys come back on Stranger Things. He said, Bud ain't part of the family, LRB. Man, LRB ain't part of the family. They don't brought his fat ass. They don't brought his fat ass to the, to the apartment. LRB is a nigga on the outside looking in. He probably got to call a nigga to call a nigga to get in touch with Al Hamer. He was a fat phase on liar. Parking, the, parking that way, Spence Ellie. Man, Ellie suck a nigga sack back. <laughs> when the coach call him, suck a nigga uh, nut sacks. It's boy the channel, cash up, dollar size, CJ good, 313. He said, Tim Zoo tried to duck and, and thought people was it, what should be a sapper. Fuck it. Man, no, and then that's the thing is, he tried to duck it, then he tried to call. He said, well, other bo boxers are really pussies. Other fighters are really pussies. I'm like, oh, but you ducking, though. Charles to Zoo is always funny. He's feel, man, Charlo is a, is, is a dog with no teeth. And no nails. Casuals don't want to fight. See Spence. I mean, shit. We'll see. Lavin said, just like it's secure over everybody, it's bud over everybody. He said, I learned the hard way. Uh, ducking. I I learned the hard way. Ducking your head is in the fight. Tim learned too. Do you think Tim get cut if he uh he would have won? If it was a fifth, we all be drunk. I don't know. Maybe so, probably about knockout. Uh, Gabe Benson, what's up? CJ Earl didn't sell out when he was in Cowboy Stadium before, and that was with a Mexican named Mikey. He's not doing 90K with Fondora. This is a boxing NASCAR, or it's not boxing. This boxing, not NASCAR football, or the WWE. Shout out to Gabe Benson. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do 90,000. Man, Fondora ain't got 90,000 fans, nigga, who know who the hell he is. You know what I'm saying? They ain't selling that shit out. I wonder what t-shirt you gonna come off. Are you watching BMF? I 
I seen a couple episodes. Like after season two, I was I don't like Fifty Cent TV shows. I'm not a fan of Fifty Cent TV shows. The first season of BMS was fire. After that, I don't know, bro. I'm good. You know, y'all go support that shit. I ain't telling y'all not to support a black man, but I just don't like his shows. Heard somebody say, "Well, I like uh, Power better than the better than the Wire." I'm like, you don't know shit about TV. But you got to understand, most of these niggas ain't cultural, bro. They don't understand shit like Breaking Bad, Sons of Anarchy. All they understand is nigga shit. Anything with intellectual, you know, or got a meaning or or some type of uh, 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 thing that make you think like Better Call Saul, Boardwalk, Empire, even though The Wire make you think these niggas like microwave TV. They like it for it to be comprehended. It'd be so easy to comprehend and digest. And the acting is so bad on power, bro. Like, the acting is horrible. Like mostly, I watched that like some of the first first five. Like, hell no, I did start watching Halo. It, it's straight so far. I gotta get back and get into it. He said, man, look better. Bib will fight a year. The rest of my schedule looking weak. Yeah, let me pull that up. Yeah, I want to see that shit. Better Bib, better Bib, Bib about to go down. What's so funny is everybody Boshito said, you know, I'm picking up. <laughs> Boshito said, I'm picking better B. I'm picking Bib. Everybody picking Bib don't want to bet. Oh, none of these people, these them niggas don't be believing, man, that, that that nigga about to win. Hold on, my bad. These, these, these niggas don't be really believing that shit, bro. Tell me I'm lying. Yeah, yeah, people gonna win. But I put your money up. Every time I say best something, the nigga quiet to the motherfucker, man. He was a fat phase on liar. Come on, man. You got Richard Hitchison fighting on that Eddie Hearn card versus who who knows. Jared Anderson fighting April 13th. Jess McCaskill, she back. She from St. Louis. Devin Haney, April 20th. My nigga Jarrico rematch with Peter McQuill. McGrail, I spoke to him after he won that fight. Two shots to that brother, man. Uh, we work out the same gym. Canelo and Munguia, the fourth. Nuri and Inuyua, the six. Don't care. Loma Chico, don't care. Never, don't care. Hey, what's so funny too is that they that that Usyk man, Usyk promoter or manager or something say that he don't think the you got any questions I answer them. He said he don't even think that fight gonna happen between uh um he said he don't think that fight about to gonna happen between Fury and Usyk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real quick, I was seeing this. He said Karasku remains doubtful that Usyk and Fury takes place. You know, it says that the promoter unified Alexander Sanchez Usyk still has reservations about whether the highly anticipated lucrative encounter or rematch between Ukrainian and rival Tyson Fury will happen once the pair meet in Rye High, Saudi Arabia, May 18th. He said, theoretically, the rematch, he said a rematch where I'm tripping. So hold on. So he said, theoretically, the rematch was happening for the end of 2024. However, we all know that Tyson Fury is not the best in the world, Karasku said to World Boxing News. After he loses to Usyk in the first bar, you cannot predict his behavior, but I have no guarantee that the first fight ever takes place. The man has withdrawn four times in a row already. We have even decided to stop all the jokes and criticisms towards Luke uh, Fury to support his confidence. He said, if there's anything else uh, we can do to help him get him in the ring with Usyk, we are ready to do that, Karasku said at it. Us, quote, Usyk's goal is to get the fourth heavyweight belt and complete the undisputed uh, accomplishing this mission. Other options can be, uh, after accomplishing this mission, other options could be considered. So they he's saying that this nigga may not even make this fight. <laughs> Shit, nasty work out here, y'all. <laughs> it's nasty work in boxing. He said he doesn't even have 90k for IG followers. Wow. He said Ghost Raid and his pow- power is like 99. He's the boss, but he don't even want that can act on my hard that I seen in the first season. I didn't like the rest of it or the first episode. I didn't even want to watch him through. He said better BF stops. Uh stop that better BF stops in 712. Looks plus 400. Yeah, I bet on Beaver. I'm trying to hit a lit man. You might you might as well give your money to me, bro. You might as well give it, give it to me, bro. You wasting your motherfucking time. This nigga about to get his dick knocked in the dirt. Let's better be up, get old overnight. Raising Kane ain't terrible. All the others suck. Yeah, I'd rather not. I like this movie, Get Richard Dottrine, though. Pitbull 
versus Barroso make it happen. He said, well, Fury is a shysty gypsy, but his excellency supposed to have fined him $10 million if they pull out. Fury was in shape of his life via uh, as a blown-up middleweight. Fury knows what time it is. Yeah, that nitbucker was looking good. No diddy. No diddy, like. That's yeah, he was in great shape. But, you know, it is what it is, man. But, um, um, but yeah, man, but other than that, I think, you know, if I got no questions, I'm about to kind of close it out. But I think Earl is, uh, Earl is preparing the gun for, uh, he's preparing the gun for Canelo Alvarez. That's what they're doing. And probably uh, Fondor. They probably trying, I, I don't know if Canelo will fight Fondor, but I know they they gun they gearing for Earl up to, for the original plan to fight Canelo Alvarez. That's what they're doing. They try to put him in a position to fight Canelo Alvarez and for Bud, you know, you just got to figure out what you want to do as a fighter. You know, that's a great question. I want to get a belt in the fourth weight class and then I want to go get a belt in the fifth and call it a day. You know, you made your money right now. I mean, you want to call it a day? Maybe trying to get a fourth uh, belt in the fourth weight class and then try to get a fifth belt at 160 and get up out of there. You know? So... Yeah, I think that might be the ultimate goal, man. But, hey, you don't have to support this at all. You know? You don't. You don't have to talk about it. You ain't got to watch it or nothing. So, they can keep lying about Ninja's numbers if they want to. He said, I'm not saying I'm betting on Beverly. The rest of them bets on Bebo. I know what time it is. He said, Earl is a joke. Um, and Al Heyman is a cancer. That is all. And that's what it seems to be. But I'll, I'll leave it uh, open for if y'all got any other questions, make sure I thumbs up the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget I'm going to put this on the podcast in the morning. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and a bunch of others. Amazon Music. I mean, shout out there watching, watching on Kick, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, the whole nine. Um, he said, I got better BS stopping Bevo as well. Yeah. Bevo don't have enough aggressive nature. He got to be aggressive. He got to be going out there and look hurt Bevo. I mean, better be if you don't look to hurt him, then it is what it is. But y'all just gotta stop putting money in PBC pocket. Get your hand out of my pocket! Get your hand out of my pocket nigga. Yeah, y'all gotta just stop putting y'all, y'all, y'all stop paying them niggas attention to paying them money. The shit will be over soon enough. Hopefully, we get some reform in boxing. You know, and there ain't no shame in that game. It's like. You know, Usher, you know, thanking the devil at that speech. They they basically telling you right in front of your face. They don't give a fuck about the fans or what happened in the last fight. You know? Earl Spence wasn't about to go take no tune-up because his money was going to be funny. He wasn't about to... Uh, he wasn't about to play with the church's money. His money was going to be funny. So even the right thing to do if you get a new trainer or you're coming off a loss, get two or three fights up under your belt. One, PBC don't have the fight days to accommodate that. Or two, you know, uh, try to get the fights and just try to get into a rhythm and, and, and get better. He gonna go right. He gonna rush right into an ass whooping. And this is this is that's what it is, man. So hey, uh, I do appreciate y'all thumbs up the video, share the video on the way out. Peace.